The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hello, welcome to Game Shift. Tonight we have The Bridge, uh, Split Second, Shante and the Pirate's Curse, and Skyforce Special Edition. Join us. Good evening. So uh, I started tonight with the bridge. This game's like a puzzle game. It's uh, from the Quantum. Uh, it's just a, a puzzle game with like uh, you actually turn the world with your um, shift triggers, and the world will actually like turn around when you're playing it. So uh, it's probably going to come up in a second, and you'll see it like where. Uh, so it's a puzzle game, completely a puzzle game. You'll see it draws your character, and it's pretty unique. I, I've heard really good things about this game, so I was, uh, you know, trying to figure it out, trying to see what I can do. It, it, it's very interesting. So you have to try and figure out how to get through the level. Sometimes there's keys. You've got to figure out how to get the keys to you by turning the level. This one, you can jump down. You can actually fall right off the level. Hmm. So depending on how gravity's working and how you have the level turned, you, you see the ball. If that hits you, you'll die. It's probably going to hit me. <laughs> yeah, you avoided it. But I've had a lot of issues with the game where I, uh, I do, I do tend to not make it through the level, <laughs> so I, I fall off the level. Uh, but it's very interesting, very good game. Nice little take on a little different uh, take on a on a puzzle game. Because now you can see I just unlock the door. Now I have to figure out how to get to the door without that thing hitting me. And there's several different things to do. There can be multiple keys. Uh, multiple enemies, like even just uh, those enemies will be like not even on a um, string. They can fall through the level, so you have to figure out how to outwit that. See how I did that there? I made him so he gets stuck up there. Oh, then you got to turn the level quickly because he can swing back and hit you too. So that was like one of the levels. <laughs> All right, it's pretty pretty interesting. I probably have another level here. <clears throat> it looks, um, it's a little bit like a game I played, Fez, which is like a platformer, but you use the right and left trigger to uh, rotate the world around. And yep. uh, you can, you know, each, each, each time you rotate it, it's a different, um, you know, section of a uh, level, a 2D yep. level. That's on, is that the one when uh, you, you have like, a, it's almost like a 2D level and you can walk around it and then you turn the world, but it turns this way? Yeah, exactly. Almost like it's in 2D, but there's a, it's a 3D level. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool too. Yeah, is you like turn the tower around? It is. It's that's that's another good game. I gave this eight phalanges because it's 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 different. It's good. I found myself like playing it for a while after I did this. I was like, this is this this is fun. This is actually one of the difficult levels I was playing. So I'm probably gonna lose here because I'm just trying to figure out how how it works. So this, this is called like spiral, I think it said. So so you got to try and get the keys out of there. In the spiral by turning the spiral one way and then you got to turn it the other way to get the keys actually to go down and that you can't really tell but it's that's like almost like a um, platform that the keys can fall on but you can drop the keys you'll see I think I do it I drop the key right off the level oh okay and then you can't you have to restart it yeah you have to restart the level <laughs> and you can also rewind so anytime you think you did something just a little bit wrong you can hold V and it rewinds the level back to where you want to go but I think it's it's pretty unique. It's like uh, all hand drawn. It looks and uh, I don't know. It's it's a good looking game and it's fun. It's like all hand drawn levels and making them in that three D world is pretty nice. Yeah, it looks it does look pretty good. I don't remember the last uh, 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 a recent black and white game like this, but uh, it's interesting. Yeah, good uh, different art style. Indie games are just killing it this year. Like they, there's so many good ones. Mm. Some of the black and white games that I liked was uh, Limbo. You ever oh, played yeah, that? that's right. Yeah, that's fantastic. That is good. Uh, dark, but a, a puzzle game. A good puzzle game. Yep. And then they had the other one. Uh, I forget what the second one was. Pretty good too. Yeah, 
was the name, but it was the same uh, uh, developer. Same type, yeah. yeah. Same type of game, too. So I'm trying to get the key to like fall off, but to keep it on the level, I oh. missed. <laughs> so yeah, now I have to hold B, it'll rewind. And then I think I figure it out. I'm like, I can get the key to go stay on the level. I figured it out pretty quickly, but I might mess it up again. Trying to get the key to like kind of fall. Just stay to rotate around it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I got it now. And then I and then I can follow the same path as that other key just went. And then so I already unlocked one of the doors. Very, I, I think it's interesting how it works. The physics are pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty neat. You gave it eight uh, eight phalanges. Yeah. Well, I enjoy it. I mean, I'm gonna play it more. It's. Uh, I ended up getting an Xbox Game Pass for a while, and uh, that's working out really well. There's so many games on there. Uh, NBA, uh, NBA, NB2K came out, uh, and uh, that, you know that's a good addition. And also the uh, um, Wrestling 2K18 as well. And, uh, so next, I have Split Second. This is a this is like before. So this is a Disney Interactive game, actually, and, and like. So I was playing it. This 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 is a Xbox Gold game of the month. So it's completely free if you have gold. And uh, I mean the graphics are great, but like also you can make things happen, which I blew myself up. <laughs> but um, you make things happen that actually affect the other cars on the road. So like you can you know have a trash truck back up and hit them, uh, which is pretty unique. It's, it's different, and uh, you you gain power ups by doing. Um, Drifting, so you drift around the corner. You get a little bit more uh, energy for your power. And now, see, now I can hit a button and make those guys crash. Okay. But I messed up in my drift, <laughs> and then I crashed. I'm awesome at this game. <laughs> so this is definitely more of an arcade style, not a uh, realistic. Uh... Right, right, yeah, it's completely arcade. And you'll see. I, I, I think I may do all right on this level, but I, I mess up a lot. The levels are big, and then there's a lot of things that you can make happen. Like that stuff I just made shoot out the side. You'll see like major crashes if you're up close to them. It'll kind of go into slow motion while you pass them. It's really cool. Hmm. Almost reminds me of a burnout uh, style game. <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of is. And and you know you can you can actually like make the stuff happen, but then you can hurt yourself, crash into the side, and lose the race. Oh, I'm winning. <laughs> oh no, I'm not. Now now I might be. So I just made all that stuff. See, you make them crash, and then you just fly past them. Oh, man, I am in, what, third, second? Yeah, I'm sure there's a bunch of, like, uh, neat shortcuts to find. Different... Oh, I just crashed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's shortcuts, there's everything, but, you know, I keep, I don't know, I keep crashing. The, the levels aren't easy. Shouldn't be. Mm. I, like, I like a challenge. Now I'm going to try and kill him, but I missed it. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background. It's kind of interesting. I gave this game a nine, nine phalanges because uh, I was having so much fun with it. It's very challenging. I was, I was getting a little aggravated at some points, but when you make the cars crash in these different ways, it's pretty, pretty neat. So different from any other game. Like I don't, can't think of any other game that does it like this. They hmm. should, they should make more of these. <laughs> like a new one would be nice. So this was released what some years ago? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah this is, this was a. Uh, this was for the Xbox 360. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, and then they just made it backwards compatible, and then they make it the game of the month, which is usually what they do. So, yeah, this was on the Xbox 360, and uh, then they, they just worked on it for a while and made it so you can play it again. Not bad. So when you get these games um, with the Xbox uh, uh, monthly uh, subscription, uh, do you get them for that just the month, or are they uh, permanently in your library? You, they're in your library and, unless you don't have Game Pass anymore. Then they'll fall out of your library, which, uh, which is kind of deceiving in a way, but in a good way. So, I mean, it's nine ninety nine a month, and you get uh, over 130 games in your library right now. It's, it's probably more like uh, almost 200 now. And, um, yeah, so if you don't have the service, you, don't play, you can't play the game anymore. I'll say you have to get this on Game Pass. Yeah, it kind of stinks. Yeah. It works. I think it's going to be a good service because, uh, you know, they announced that they're going to release all new Microsoft releases that are coming directly into that. So I'm going to get, like, Sea of Thieves, you know, stuff like that. 
But there's also an option at the bottom, like when you download the game, it'll say download or, or, per, or buy game to own. I always just do download because as long as you have the service, you can play it. So. Yeah, and it's a good way to sample a bunch of games. And, yeah, you know. and, and you think about it, it's, uh, it's 60 bucks for a game that's, that's you know, half a year. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You can play 100, you know, 130 or more, you yeah. say. Yeah. So, right. like, the new Halos will come on that, Forza's. Uh, all that other stuff. Um, another game that just came to backward compatibility also that's not available on Game Pass is The Darkness 2, which is an okay game. Um, definitely showing its age because it's like a first-person game. I tried to do video of it, but that specific game won't let me record it for some reason. What did I come in first? I did. I did it. Nice job. Took me a while, too, but I just did the last five minutes. It's probably... Five minutes per race, maybe. Because <laughs> the levels are pretty big. Like, that was pretty good. First place, finally. The next level was even hotter, and I had a different car, and I feel, feel like I, I picked the wrong car. So, <laughs> next we're going to see uh, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. This is a fun game. This is, uh, so, so Way Forward makes a lot of these games that, like, uh, you know, um, these are Japanese games that haven't come out in the U.S. and Way Forward has been pulling them over and, and bringing them to the U.S. I don't know if this one was a, a Japanese game, but but um, you know they're making great games. They they have a good uh, good repertoire. Like they they're doing really good games. They keep on just bringing out these platformers and space shooters and uh, uh, what else did they do? Um, I mean, they just publish these games, and they're awesome. <laughs> You'll see. This one's just a, a platformer, basic platformer, but it came out for the 3DS, and then, uh, you know, now they put it out for all other systems. So it's on the PS4, PC, 3DS, um, Xbox One, all, Xbox, I think, you know. And this is the, actually the third one in the series. Oh, wow. So it, And it's pretty good. She's whipped her hair right now. She doesn't have... She used to have her genie powers. Now she doesn't have any genie powers, so you gotta kind of fight with your hair. I'm just this is my first time like playing this game at all, so I'm trying to figure out how how it works, what exactly I have to do to beat this guy. So then I figure out, hey, that's gotta be red for a reason. Maybe I can hit it with my hair. So I'm just jumping around now to try to figure it out, but I'm probably gonna die. Nothing new there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how you learn though. I was thinking I had to jump up and, and, and hit him when he comes up close, but now, now you'll see. I'll figure it out. Looks like he's driving a little Lego tank or something. <laughs> yeah, it does look like two little uh, two-by-two um, yeah. Lego pieces. <laughs> Gonna run me over. Minus one. But this this game's a good platformer. Like, when you go through it, and it's... it's uh, this is, like, the first level so far, so... You know, I figured out you have to throw, throw the red balls back at him. He falls on the ground, hit him, he gets back in the tank. You got to do that a couple of times. Yeah, this looks pretty, this looks um, uh, kind of styled after uh, much older types of games. Yeah, like, uh, almost like, uh, uh, yeah, like uh, the, the old tank games. But, um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's very good. It's just, uh, so I gave this one a 9 out of 10 as well. Because it, it's the platforming's great. There's no, nothing wrong with it. The controls are spot on. You know, the game's really good. It's just got a real classic look to it. I mean, you can tell it's very pixelated and stuff, but that's the style they go for. Yeah. So to be on the 3DS is pretty impressive too. Mighty Time Force. This company makes that game as well, and that's a perfect game. And there's two of those: Mighty Time Force One and Two. Those are great games if you never played those. No, I don't think I have. I have to look into it. <laughs> the story's kind of funny too, and, and the things that happen. Um, Metal Slug, that's what that tank looks like uh, from the game Metal Slug. If you ever played that, it's like the, the same, it's like a shooter type game, platformer. It's really fun. And uh, that's what that tank looks like it's from. <laughs> so it's got the same like graphic type as that, or style. There's a lot of story, you know, you got to go through the story. I like to read everything and figure out what's going on and take in the whole story while I play. There's, um, 
enemies, the story's continuing from the older versions of this game. So, so you know, half genie hero to the next one to this one. The, the story just keeps continuing along. Yeah, it's always good when the company puts uh, time into the story of the game, not just the gameplay. It makes yeah, it exactly. more interesting. Yes, I have a scroll. <laughs> She shows up, the girl from the last game shows up, and she she enlists your help to help you try and rescue the land, because, I don't know, it's it's a strange story, but it, it's fun. Kind of looks like a Mega Man type, <laughs> type game with the, or even a Sonic. <laughs> yeah, kind of, it, it does. I like the, um, I like the, the graphics of the, the, um, uh, like the video, the people that come out, they look a lot different, a lot more uh, uh, drawn than, than yeah. the actual gameplay. But yeah, exactly. It's a good effect. Um, it's like a comic book. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's that game. That, that, but I do highly recommend that game. I played, I, I'm going to try and play that one all the way through because I love that game. Sky Force Special Edition. <laughs> Surprise, I <laughs> nine phalanges. <laughs> nine. <laughs> nine phalanges was a trend tonight. Uh, yeah, so, so this game, I mean, it's, it's a basic shooter, but you can't go directly from one level to the next level. So, like, if I beat this level, I might not necessarily get to level two. So you might have to go through this level. You have to get a certain amount of badges to go from one level to another. So I'm only on, like, I've been playing this game for about a week. I'm only on the fifth level. Because you have to upgrade. You know, you'll see, you'll see I'm doing weapon upgrades when I grab those gold badges. But... They don't really do anything. You're just getting, your gun will be more powerful. So you start out with a little pea shooter. You don't even have, like, you'll see here, I'm, I'm shooting rockets. Plus I have, like, uh, uh, wing, wing guns. And, yeah, you see my rocket takes off there. That's just automatic. And uh, you collect the stars, and the stars are like your currency. So then I can go back into the uh, hangar, and then I can upgrade my, my, um, my ship. And then I, uh, and then when I go back into the level, I might gain access. I can do better, and then I can gain access to like level four or wherever I am. But there's a specific amount of badges that you need. So you can see the little guy hanging out there. I gotta rescue him. You just hover over him, and then you rescue him. It's a loud game. <laughs> when you're playing it, it's like you know, uh, you rescue the you rescue the little guy, and they're like, yeah. <laughs> it's like scary loud even if I have it on low volume I feel like I'm bugging people but um, it's good it's a great game and uh, you know brings the classic shooter style back with a little bit more to it you know I, I love it they did a great job with this game that's that's from infinite dreams uh, yeah and you can you get these strings going and stuff and if you miss one of the plans it like yells at you uh, string lost <laughs> you know, you're like what the heck <laughs> Even when you're getting the weapon update, so so this game's always yelling at you. you. You're either saving a hero, you get a weapon upgrade, and it'll go weapon upgrade. And you're, you're like whoa, <laughs> but I like it because like it, it keeps you going. And uh, like I said, there's a lot of skill involved in it. Big, big, big. Like that's not even a big enemy right there, but the the uh, um, bosses are huge. Uh, sometimes you could have multiple bosses on the screen at a time, and uh, constant. You know, they're constantly shooting at you. To, to earn the badges, you can rescue all the people, or you can uh, uh, avoid being hit through the whole level, destroy every single enemy on a level. Like, those are the badges you get. So it's not easy by any means, but it it's definitely just uh, keeps you going. It keeps you coming back for more. It's, it's crazy. Uh, just a lot of thought went into this game. It's, it's crazy fun. Yeah. It looks pretty good, um, and it's, it's nice. You have to, you have, it forces you to upgrade your ship to be, you know, able to take on the next challenge or the yeah. next level. Yeah, and you know, so so this is a ship that's already been upgraded quite a bit, and, and you know, I think this is the third level. There I go. I'm probably gonna miss this string. This is when the planes stop flying quick like that. I got them all. Uh, yeah. But but uh, here comes one of the big enemies now. He just flew in. I don't know if he's the the end enemy. It's almost like a, a little Galaga-esque, you know, the way yeah, that yeah. they fly in. 
I, I was saying like 1942, that old, the, the old shooter from a while back, they had like 1942, 1943. But this, this is a lot like those. I'm doing pretty good damage to this ship quickly. <laughs> But it's because I, you know, I upgraded my weapons a lot at this point. You sh you start out with literally one of those cannons, and it's just shooting like. Ch -ch -ch. So there'd be no way to uh, take on this guy with with just one of those. Yeah, uh, you can, but you know it takes a lot longer, and you got to avoid a lot more fire. So that's basically one level of that game. It's pretty good. It's not bad. Yep, and then. Uh, That's basically that. It's, I, I love that game. I would highly recommend it. You know, um, I got like, so you can see I got two badges on that. That's it. All that work, I got two badges. And then I have to get like probably four badges to go on to the next level. So it, it's crazy. It's hard. Um, I don't know. I'm just enjoying my Xbox now, trying to play more games and stuff. I played a couple more games, tried to get videos, but uh, sometimes... Um, I'm playing Bioshock, and then I'm going to try and play Bioshock 2 because I never beat the first Bioshock or Bioshock 2. I beat Infinite. <laughs> I've only played the first and, uh, and um, Infinite. I've never played the second, but I heard it was pretty good. That's where you play as the Big Daddy character, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, and I heard you know it's one of the best. Everybody really loves that game. So I like the first one myself too but uh, you because know, that's the first time you've seen that world. So the Bioshock, the whole series is incredible. They're just on a roll with those. That's from 2K games too, and they're pretty they're they're pretty good. Um, so it seems like a lot of their stuff's on Game Pass as well. So uh, I don't know. I'm I'm hoping to have some games for next week. I don't know what I'm gonna have yet, but uh, you know, um, highly recommend all the games on today's show. I mean, even though I gave the bridge an eight, you know. It's a lot of fun and it's interesting and it makes you think a lot. So these are the types types of games that make you think outside the box, it's, hmm. and that's fun. It makes you think in a different way. All of the ones on today's show were actually E for everyone because there's you know cartoon graphics. There's a little cartoon violence, but they're all these are all family friendly games according to me. Because <laughs> like I mean, Split Second, everybody can play that and have fun. There's a challenge there. It's it's great. Um, any platformer is awesome for the family, too. Um, so, anyway, that's our show for this week. And we'll, what do you think you'll have next week? Anything? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll definitely get a video next week, though. Um, Splunky. Splunky. You can do Splunky for the uh, PC, and I'll do it for the Xbox One. All right. We, yeah. I'll, let's do that, then. We'll um, do that. We have a deal. <laughs> if, if you all haven't heard, uh, Splunky 2 was announced, I think, the beginning of the year. Um, it's, there's no gameplay uh, footage of that yet, but um, I'm kind of excited. I can't wait for that to come yeah, out. Yeah, we tried to look up footage for that, but we couldn't find any. <laughs> yeah, I've heard... I, oh. I want to see it so bad. <laughs> I do, too. I heard rumors it might take place on the moon, and uh, it might tweak gravity a little bit, so well, nice. it, it should be good. Yeah, so Splunky's like a, a mining game, and you, there's a lot to do in it, and there's different, like achievements to get like we got to try i got to get it on the pc eventually so we can do the multiplayer achievement in some way or have drew do it with you <laughs> uh but yeah that's our show for tonight thanks for watching and we'll see you next week catchphrase awesome The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.